Hey Pisces, welcome to your October 2024 monthly reading. We're just gonna go ahead and get started and jump straight in. I hope you're doing well. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, of course that link will be down below in the description. If you click that link, it'll take you straight to my website. Let's take a look here at Pisces. I hope you're doing well. Let's see here. What is going on with you this month? All right. All right, you pulled the Empress, Queen of Swords, the Tower. The Tower is in the position of the good stuff, and so is the Empress here. The Queen of Swords is your overall energy. Let's see here. Let's keep going. A lot of major arcana so far. It's interesting, too. You know, the Tower moment after the Tower is a star and the Tarot. So I think this Tower moment is already something that's happened, right? I don't think this is something coming up. I think it's something that's already happened here because you have the Star card here, which is a, it's a future. more. It's the next card in the Tarot. Whatever has happened in the past that has been changed, or if there were shakeups, I think whatever it was was almost supposed to happen. So that way, with the star card, it can—it was like supposed to like almost like set you free in a way, right? To really open up toward your real desires, to open up your horizons here, to allow you to be able to go toward the things that you really want for yourself. And some of you may be, you know. I mean, I'm not, you know, the star card is like, yeah, there could still be challenges going on and there could still be things that are that are happening here that, you know, aren't as pleasant. But I think here with the star card, you know, the star card is a, is a card of healing as well. So I think you are going through a process of healing. But now I think the possibilities are, are, are starting to open up for you, Pisces. Interesting, because you do have the fool here in the challenge and the fool can represent like taking a leap of faith, right? You know, taking a risk allowing oneself to go beyond the normal right because i almost kind of feel like the normal you can't go back to the normal anymore with that tower being here and uh with this empress card it's like in the position of something you know and the good stuff it's like now you have a chance here to create like what what it is that you really want to create and the empress does deal with prosperity and abundance and it's in the position of the good stuff so you may be finding yourself getting more into an energy of prosperity and more in, in, in an energy of abundance here starting to feel that sense of expansion here Let's see here. We're going to pull the rest of your cards and then we'll, we'll really get into it here. Interesting. You did pull this Ace of Pentacles here. You got the Three of Wands here. What's the outcome here? You have the Eight of Cups. Okay. All right. Let's pull your Oracle cards here. Then we'll jump in. We'll jump in here. Pull this water element card it says sensing here i think it's important to trust your intuition at this time the water element does deal with it deals with depth it deals with introspection reflection it also deals with spirituality mystery intuition sensing i think at this time and throughout this month the universe is really wanting you to listen to your intuition to also go with the flow of things here as well i think you're going through a big spiritual rejuvenation here even this lunar eclipse that we just had in your sign that was on september i think it was the 17th right it was in your sign the lunar the lunar eclipse that we had right and so it was a big kind of spiritual cl clearing for you purification and that process with the tower maybe it was like something that may have seemed like oh my god like everything is changing i don't know who i am right and it's just like everything kind of just feels like it's crumbling down and it may have initially looked bad but i feel like this month it's like you're being able to reflect here and connect the dots and be like oh i see why all this happened here and i think there's there's a lot of things being purified in your energy field and the purification process spiritually it could be kind of hard right it can be very tower-like because the star card like i said it's a card of healing rejuvenation right and it's the spiritual waters that she is creating and manifesting in right and she's reconnecting to her divine origins or her she's reconnecting to the divine source so i see that that's something here that you're going through uh pisces you pull this winner's dream card it says gestation period yeah, and you know, gestation period is when things are kind of breaking down. It's like the winter, right? When all the leaves are falling, things are kind of breaking down, right? But through that process, you know, 
the breakdown of things is also you know the building up of new things here and i think the entering into the month of october it's like you're kind of in the very beginning stages here of of, of of building things back up because i think that lunar eclipse that you've gone through and with the reading here of the tower the shakeups and the changes and the, and the breakdowns of things has happened right so that way you can create and build a new here so like i said i think you're in the very beginning processes of these things but i think the worst though is what i'm saying i think the worst is over you pulled this you are healing your heart the heart hurts but will mend in time here and i think like i said i knew there's something about healing here and uh so I would have grace for yourself. Be patient with your process here. Um, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and jump into your tarot. You did pull the Queen of Swords here for the overall energy. And uh, it's very interesting. You know, I think the universe is kind of wanting you to get clear here about what you want. Even if you take a look at this row, Queen of Swords, the overall energy, the full card is a challenge, and then your advice is three of wands. The Queen of Swords is about comprehending, understanding, getting clear about getting clear about things right and the three of wands is being able to move forth and move forward into the future but the full cards and the challenge is like having to get clear about like what you want to initiate right what you want to create moving forward what you want to build moving forward what you want to do moving forward here and i think you're being encouraged here to go beyond the norm i think you're being encouraged here to step outside your comfort zone to do something new to step into something new right the star card the possibilities now are open here for you and you know there could still be like you know the dust of the tower that has fell right that you're kind of moving through right maybe it's a little blurry maybe it, 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 it's like you know it's a little it's a it's, it's hard to see maybe right now but it will clear up i feel so the star card is saying here you know this is the time for you to like get clear here about what you want put yourself in alignment with what your desires are and the three of wands is saying be bold be self-determined the three of wands the sun and aries aries deals with self-determination the sun card deals with our being like being self-determined here to move forward right that the future is bright literally your future position is the two of wands here i think there's some type of newer objective here or a newer purpose here that you're being motivated here to pursue with this two of wands and I see you pursuing that throughout the month of October here. And the two of wands is like the whole world's in his hands, right? The whole world is in his hands. Which reminds us that the abundance that Gaia, the earth, has to offer us in regards to the type of reality and the type of lifestyle that we want to live or the things that we want to do while we're here is possible. You pull the eight of cups here in the outcome. And I think this is you being able to dissolve the emotional attachments and dissolve the emotional experience of the past right to be able to let go and move through that tower energy right and i'm kind of seeing you here i gotta be real i think this month of october i think you're still in this process of like moving through something right sometimes it doesn't happen overnight sometimes it doesn't happen in a month it takes time right and i think here with this eight of cups at least though you're move you're moving more and more toward your wish fulfillment after the eight of cups is the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment it's like you're moving more and more toward your wish fulfillment and something you're unaware of at this time is the ace of pentacles here it's like it's the reset right the like there's a reset that has happened with this tower being here right because the tower is the reset button in the tarot and the ace of pentacles star card is like okay it's time to create new right it's time to create from a totally new space i think you're being encouraged to really do that so let's clarify your reading here. Clarify this Empress here in the position of the good stuff. You have the Knight of Wands here. I see you finding your confidence again here as well. The Knight of Wands in the position of the good stuff is like an increase in vitality, an, instant, an increase of a sense of self, right? And that sense of self, the increase in the sense of self gives you, gives you a more clear direction with things and gives you confidence, especially with the Empress being here. It's like giving you confidence here to explore 
and create what you want to create. Also, too, I feel like um, a lot of you Pisces, too, you could be going through like some form of a glow up. You could even be becoming more attractive, especially like if you've been working on yourself, whatever the case might be, or you just may be noticing that you're getting a lot of attention. Clarify the Queen of Swords for the overall energy. Pull the Ace of Cups here. And I think this month here is about finding that spiritual peace again. Right? The Dove on the Ace of Cups represents peace and serenity. And the Queen of Swords is... Well, there's a couple different things. I think the Queen of Swords here... Is about being aware of how things influence you emotionally and spiritually, right? And cutting out the things that have a negative effect on you, have a negative influence on you. Even with the water element card that you pulled here, it's a sensitive energy. Water is sensitive. Even Pisces, you're the most sensitive sign, right? So I think at this time, it's like to have like boundaries and, and, and to understand like what you're subjecting your energy to, right? You want to only subject yourself to energies that is going to increase the harmony and the peace and the prosperity here. Or, sorry, I didn't mean to say prosperity. It could be prosperity, though. The serenity. But I think you're just getting more clear about... Your needs, emotional needs. And starting to prioritize those. Clarify the tower. Yeah, the two of pentacles. Yeah, and the two of pentacles is learning the dance of change. It reminds us that, that life is change. And so when a tower moment happens... It's important for us to do, to not waste time, right? Two of Pentacles is like, okay, well, let's see what I can do to change things here, right? Instead of like kind of looking at the rubble, or, uh, looking at the rub, the rubble of every everything that has fallen. It's like, okay, well, I can't put this back together, but I can create something new. And I think with this being in the position of the good stuff, it's like you're finally able to create something new here for yourself. Clarify the star card in your current energy. You have the Empress here. So you have two Empresses right beside or right above each other. And I think, yeah, it's like you're, you're now in a, a pure space to create. Now, the star card of the Empress, like major arcanas are, are big spiritual themes that are going on that aren't, they're not readily visible to you. It's almost like spirit, there's these big spiritual lessons that are behind the scenes. Like a two of wands or a five of wands is like something that's immediately going on. Like a five of wands is like, yeah, I'm fucking going, I'm in a fight right now, right? I'm arg I'm in an argument, right? But like the major arcanas here, like in your current energy, like the big spiritual themes and lessons playing out for you at this time is getting clear here about first what your values are with the Empress, because it's the archetype of Venus, about what you want to create, and also giving yourself the permission to create what it is that you want reconnecting to your aspirations and your inspirations finding hope and joy again with what you want to do and in your life but also believing in yourself and remembering that the star card talks about your divine origins right and the empress is the reminder that abundance is your divine birthright it's reconnecting back to that worthiness with inside yourself that you're worthy of great things. Clarify the full card. You have the lovers here. Clarify the two of wands. You have the three of pentacles here. I think your challenge at this time is like you're being spring, spring forwarded into something new, right? The lovers deals with the path in life. I don't sense in your case it's the love uh, that deals with love. The lovers is about purpose. It's about it's about alignment with some form of purpose or alignment with some form of cause, something that makes you feel emotionally and spiritually fulfilled. And it's something that you love. So at this time, you know, the full card deals with risk, right? And taking a leap of faith. And I think at this time that your challenge at this time is taking a leap of faith or taking a risk, going into the direction of like what your heart wants. Clarify the ace of pentacles here you have the magician it's in the position of something you're unaware of and yeah, the magician says you have the power here to manifest right i know it's cliche to say but you do right the magician deals with our energy and how we channel it how we focus it how we concentrate it here right and concentrating it and focusing it on sowing new seeds ace of pentacles right on creation because the tower is destruction we don't need any more destruction, right? Like, now it's time for a creation, especially with the Empress, because the Empress represents creation.
clarify the three of wands as your advice. You have the chariot, clarify the, th the eight of cups, you have the sun card here. I think you're moving in a better direction here for yourself in a more happier direction. Now, like I said, like the eight of cups, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the advice here in a moment, but the eight of cups is like when we're just going through that transitional period here, we're walking away from some form of past experience or we're letting go of, uh, of just, it's just moving forward in general, right? Spiritually and emotionally, right? To evolve and grow from this tower, right? That I feel like you've gone through. And I think you haven't really gotten to your full on wish fulfillment yet, but you're getting closer and closer to that. And I think you're getting more and more happier here with the sun card here in the outcome. And I think your advice at this time is to believe in yourself, three of wands, the chariot. You know, Aries, three of wands, the sun in Aries. Aries is a, is, a, is a sign that is, that's why it squares cancer, because cancer deals with, and that's interesting because the chariot's cancer. And I just said this for the Aquarius read, so if you have Aquarius in your chart, go watch the Aquarius reading. But Aries, that's why Aries squares cancer, right? Because cancer deals with our comfort, cancer deals with the familiar, the things that we're used to. But when things happen, and it shakes things up, and we have to like, you know, we have to embrace the uncomfortable, right? To create the comfortable. That's where Aries can help because Aries is like, okay, let's go. Like Aries is like, I'm going to take action on what I want to take action on. I'm going to be bold and assertive. I'm going to be self-determined. I'm going to find the courage and the strength of the bravery, right? To take action on what it is I need to take action on or to move things forward, right? Sometimes the chariot, the reason why it's, it deals with like triumph and success and it deals with you know, legacy is because he's, 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 a, he's not afraid to go where other people haven't gone. Right? He's not afraid to step outside of his comfort zone. That's the lesson for the chariot. It's like to expand your field of activity, right? Because sometimes like we start off here, like we, maybe we don't have that much, or maybe we're just getting started with our career and our business, or maybe we're just getting started with things, or maybe we're re we, we get reset, right? To, to back, back here. And so now there's these newer opportunities and these newer things that you can explore. But maybe it's, you know, it's like having to m expand your field of activity, right? So that deals with embracing the unknown. That deals with embracing, you know, stepping outside your comfort zone. But when you do all that, that's where you like learn and grow, right? And that's when you're able to conquer the chariot, the things that you want to conquer. And you're able to achieve the things that you want to achieve, right? And have triumph and success and victories, right? When it comes to what it is that you're trying to move toward. And so the three of wands here as well saying like, be self-determined here, be bold, right? The future is bright. It's more brighter than you think. The possibilities are out there on the horizon. You just got to go get on one of those ships and go on the journey. So it's almost like in a way you've been shooking, it's like you're being shaked out of your comfort zone here with this tower that has happened. So let's see here. Pull this polar bear card. So solitude, friendship, strength, resilience. I also want to say to, you don't really have any cards of solitude here, but the water element, it does that with introspection and reflection, which you need solitude for that. So, and so I see the connection here, but I, I think here, like if you've been needing solitude to be able to do introspection and reflection, like take that for yourself. Because the Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups is about being able to like control the environment. Like if you're in an environment or if you're, if you're not able to think clearly or feel clearly or tune into your intuition, right? It's about getting into a sacred space or creating an environment for yourself. So that way you can do that here and to be resilient with what you're doing here and to rely upon your support here as well with the Slovers being in the challenge. You pulled this mystery card it says dark matter and that's what i was saying here about the comfort zone or exploring the mystery here the eight of cups is your own vision quest in life it's in the outcome and it is about exploring the unknown and stepping outside your comfort zone here
pull this darkness card it says moon like I said, I think you've already experienced the worst here with this tower. With the star card being in your current energy, it's like... And then that gestation period here, winter's dream. The gestation is the breakdown, right? The, it's like the fall, the winter. Everything starts to break down. And that's the tower here, but that's already happened, like I said, because the lunar eclipse has happened. Now you're in the, the very beginning stages of creating something new, right? It's like spring that is starting to happen does that make sense but it's like it's just now happening so and the darkness can represent the 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 potential right the because even the full card is the it's the cosmic egg it's the chaotic potential that has to be wielded right that has to be that has to be contained right and controlled and structured right so it's like you're in this period of maybe chaos the tower but there's so much potential as well in your situation to, to be able to create to find creativity but to also create like the type of newer life that you want or the type of newer things that you want that makes sense even the moon deals with the subconscious unconscious it deals with the feminine energy it deals with the um deals with our emotions and stuff like that and so and what the empress is something about the power of creation here that that's spirits really wanting you to embrace at this time and you don't have to have all the answers right now you just have to trust and believe in yourself and to explore the newer mystery here that's unfolding for you so so that's what i got for you pisces in your monthly reading i appreciate you for watching if you want to book a personal reading with me of course that link will be down below if you're newer to the channel i encourage you to subscribe and if you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me otherwise than that i wish you the best pisces and i'll see you later